village called as Porvoli. Today, Porvoli is no more a village, it's a town. But I was born in that village in a house, uh, a huge Indo-Portuguese house, because in Goa we don't have Portuguese houses, they are Indo-Portuguese houses. And I grew up amidst a small porso or a, a small plot behind a house uh, where there were these plants called as the aboli plants. And uh, the charm of these uh, flowers was not the flowers itself, but its usage, you know, by the ladies to dress their hairs, you know, their heads. Uh, a time has come today that uh, flowers, live flowers, have given way to plastic flowers and to different other aspects of, uh, of made out of plastic and the jello that was made out of this aboli with, uh, with the crotons or uh, what we call a bocodio or using the, uh, the silver things inside the charm is gone today we all know about crocentra or this uh, uh, aboli uh, which is orange in color but I'm sure that many of us have not seen uh, abole that grows on the hills and it is purple in color or blue in color. But today, uh, that Nirmalas has made a start by creating a future by planting an abole tree that is the foundation. Uh, I think I, I'm amazingly happy that there is some way down the line something good is happening for Goa and the richness of Goa is being preserved and I uh, let me take this opportunity to salute all your uh, budding teachers who Thank have you, taken up this uh, thing you know because Abole needs to be nurtured possibly it may be declared as the state flower if the flower called as Pitkuri the red colored one that grows under the mountain that doesn't it's giving it a tough fight but let us see what happens but if Nirmala's plants a lot of trees, I'm sure that Apollo may be declared, may be declared as the state flower of uh, Goa. Thank you so much, sir. We were in conversation with Mr. Sanjeev Sardesai. We are now eager to attend the media workshop. Now, basically, when you have such a thing like Apollo and Jeffers, your guys had a press conference that day, you know? Yes, sir. What is a press conference? According to me, it is an exercise to convey a collection of information about an event to be organized or an issue that has happened or that needs attention supported by a face-to-face -face session. It is not that you have gone and just distributed pamphlet. You have given the information and I am here, ask me questions and I will be there.